freaking way it was that easy. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel Pete's Carport. So we're gonna dive back into Dr. Dre, my 1995 Mercedes S500 that now has been an ongoing kind of project for over a year. So this car was given to me by a subscriber that I sold my original car for this channel that we called Barney, which was also a 95 S500. I wanted to take this one on just to kind of show that you can take a car that was heading to the scrapyard and possibly get it back on the road with minimal cost. And that is the entire concept of this. It is diagnosing everything and then finally throwing parts at it once everything is resolved. With that said, we last left off. We took our coils out, checked those for any cracks, put them back in, made sure everything looked clean. Uh, and we also diagnosed the fuel system, which has been the ongoing issue of this car. So now that we kind of got this car running good after realizing our fuel filter was all clogged up and maybe cleaning down some of them wires on the coil made it run a little bit better we are going to go even further now and fix an issue that i kind of created so if you're unfamiliar with this car one of the major things i ended up having to do was swap the fuel tank out now i have a 97 part car over there so it's a 97 s 500 and we pulled the fuel tank from that because I knew it was a good fuel tank. The car ran amazing. And sure enough, when we pulled it, it looked really, really good inside. Main issue that I ran into and a lot of you guys had mentioned is the plugs don't match. Now, it's kind of a strange thing because here is the plug that would have went to the fuel tank in the original S500 I have here, this 95. And you can see there's only two wires coming out, which makes sense. Anything I look up. You have a ground and you have a uh, wire that will send a signal um, and you can test that through an ohm reader. So that's pretty simple. But the problem is the other fuel tank has two sets of plugs and I honestly don't know what that other set of plugs is for. Of course, you guys have been awesome. I'm sure somebody's going to tell me on this video what those plugs are for. But for right now, what I'm gonna do um, hopefully avoid this storm because we're starting to get a little bit of rain and my parts car is just out in the open. But I'm gonna go ahead right now and cut the wires out of our parts car. So the two wires that would have normally went to the tank and I believe these two right here, because the other set has three. And if you guys know, please let me know in the comments what that three wire set would be for. But I'm gonna go ahead and I think this is gonna be what we splice into. In fact, I wonder if those were the same color wires but i'm gonna go ahead and cut this one first and we're gonna see if we can splice this in and get our gauge to work and if so that kind of helps you guys out there if you're swapping from a facelifted uh into a non-facelifted car can you wire up the fuel tank to work with the gauge and vice versa i don't know if you can do it vice versa because i really don't know what those other wires are for but let's go ahead and cut that one out see if we can splice it in and get this fuel gauge to work we got a little bit of rain, but it feels kind of good. I got my wire cutters and yeah, sure enough, it is a brown and blue wire, the two wires set here. I didn't even realize that until I just looked at the other car, uh, but same color wires. So we should just be able to splice these in then and see if it works. So let's go ahead and cut these. Of course, I'm trying to do this with one hand. Cut this one out, easy enough. And we'll go over, cut the other one out and then splice our wire in, hook it up and see if our gauge works. So that would be pretty cool. All right, and I got our battery disconnected just in case. And cut that. Strip the wire. And we'll just twist these together for right now before soldering them brown to brown and that is brown with yellow and yeah same exact wire so this should actually work it'd be kind of cool i didn't know it was going to be this simple today fingers crossed and now we should be able to plug this in right to our tank let's get our battery hooked up and get in the car all right battery is hooked up now let's take a look at our gauge because before it would just stay all the way on zero and turn red Oh, no freaking way it was that easy. I actually thought I was gonna have to run some tests on the wires, use my ohm reader, and fill you guys in. Now, 
This car is pretty much dash light free. Now I know right now it says brake and SRS. Anytime I disconnect the battery, I think we gotta turn the wheel a few times and the SRS will go out. And that brake light flickers on and off. I think there's a bad connection to either my uh, e-brake down here or something to do with the pad sensor. So, uh, but I think that's the pad sensor. So I'm not sure. I think that's just telling me that my e-brake is on and I'm guessing if I wiggle it, oh yeah, because the release is broken. I bet you that's what's creating that. And like I said, the SRS will go off after it runs for a little bit. So we are pretty much dash light free, which is insane for a car that had so many issues. But guys, if you're swapping from a, uh, if you have a pre-facelift car, so 95 and newer W140, and you want to put a fuel tank in that's a facelifted car, it literally has the exact wires all you got to do is splice those in and like i said i have no idea what the other three are for but it is not necessary on this car because there was nothing else plugged into the other tank guys we just resolved an issue i thought that i was going to have to deal with a lot of wiring and testing in the matter of seconds so this is awesome finally something went insanely smooth and was so easy and i hope that if one of you guys out there are swapping this you can see this video and know Go ahead and just splice that wire in. Make sure if you're pulling this tank from a junkyard or from someone, make sure you cut the plug just to make it easier on life. And that way you can just plug it right up and splice your wire in and easy peasy. Guys, the next video, we are gonna have this thing running perfect because we're gonna be hooking up a new fuel pump, a new fuel filter. And thanks to Uncle Fester, one of my subscribers, I have another fuel hose coming in that shouldn't leak. So he pulled it from his parts car because the hose for this car is expensive, guys. And he hooked me up. All I had to do was cover the shipping. So I'm excited about that. And like I said, save money where you can, especially if you're trying to restore these cars and you don't know the exact issues you have. Don't go throw in brand new parts that are super expensive this unless you're planning a full restoration and you already know you're going to change those parts anyways but for now guys you have an awesome day a blessed week and i'll catch you on the next video